Hi and welcome to this video on common machine learning algorithms. I am Raghavendra, an expert in AI, ML and data engineering. By the end of this video, you will be able to understand the different machine learning algorithms, differentiate between supervised and unsupervised learning. Now, let's do a recap on the common machine learning tasks. We have supervised and unsupervised learning. Regression is a task under supervised learning where we will be predicting the value of a continuous variable based on how the variable is related to some other variables. Classification is also a supervised learning task where we would be predicting the class of a given data point given certain attributes. Clustering is an unsupervised learning task where we would be finding similar data points in the data set. Recommendation engines suggest services, products and information to users. So far, we have seen some of the common machine learning tasks. Let's now discuss in detail what is supervised learning. Here is an example of prediction task given the customer demographics like gender, marital status, etc. We would want to predict whether the customer will purchase the item or not. The purchase will be the column to be predicted called as the target and the rest of the columns are called as inputs or features. In supervised learning, both the features and the target will be fed into the algorithm to train the model. To train the algorithm of supervised learning, the data set which includes the inputs or features and the target are fed into the algorithm. Once the training phase is complete, the algorithm emits a set of rules. When a new set of inputs are fed into these rules, these rules would be used to make predictions. In the example shown, when the inputs or features comprising of gender, marital status and price are fed into the rules, it predicts whether the customer will ultimately purchase the item or not. Hence, supervised learning is a task of learning where a function f of x maps an input x to output y based on the given set of input output pairs. Here are the examples of classification and regression tasks under supervised learning. In both these tasks, the training phase contains the column that is required to be predicted. And hence, this is called as supervised learning where an algorithm is trained in such a way that the column to be predicted by the algorithm is present in the training data. So we know what is supervised learning which has two categories that are regression and classification. Now let's move on to list different algorithms under regression and classification. Some of the algorithms under regression are linear regression, decision tree, random forest, gradient boost and support vector machines. Other regression algorithms include lasso and ridge regressions. Some of the algorithms under classification are logistic regression, decision trees, random forest, gradient boost, support vector machines and knife base. Another classification algorithm which is predominantly used for scenarios like anomaly detection is a K nearest neighbor algorithm. A classification task can be either binary or multi-class depending on the target column used to make predictions. In the case of binary classification, it's about predicting whether the email is spam or not, customer buying an item or not, loans getting default or not. Hence, in the case of binary classification, the target column would consist of two and only two classes. 
Some of the examples of multi-class classification include predicting the plant species as Setosa versicolor and Virginica, image recognition, recognizing images such as cat, dog, elephant and so on, number recognition, recognizing numbers as 1, 2, 3 and so on, voice recognition of different speakers, speaker 1, speaker 2, speaker 3 and so on. So if you observe in the case of multi-class classification, there would be more than two classes in the target column. Now let's understand unsupervised learning. Here the inputs of the data set are fed into an algorithm of unsupervised learning. The algorithm outputs a set of rules which are used to understand the hidden patterns to group the data or to make recommendations. In clustering, the data set is grouped to understand interesting patterns and recommendation engines are used to generate rules to make suggestions or recommendations to users. Both these tasks are unsupervised machine learning when no target variable is present in the data set and which is fed into the algorithm. Clustering and recommendation engines are tasks under unsupervised learning. So now let's list the algorithms under clustering and recommendation engines. The two common algorithms under clustering are k-means clustering and hierarchical or agglomerative clustering. The types or techniques of recommendation engines are content-based filterings and collaborative filtering. Now let's summarize the key takeaways from this video. Supervised learning is a task of learning a function that maps an input to output based on the given set of input-output pairs. Classification tasks can be either binary or multi-class depending on the target column used to make predictions. Unsupervised learning outputs a set of rules either to group the data points or to make recommendations. Variants of decision trees, random forest, gradient boost and support vector machines can be used for both classification and regression. Thank you for watching this video.